I'm actually really excited. Uh, you know, I've been, you know, throughout the years, I've been away nine years now since I've been home. I moved that out at the age of 15 to play football abroad, and you know, uh, it's been a long time coming. And you know, I'm super excited to be playing at home. And you know, I have a lot, bunch of friends that want to come watch me, and I have a bunch of family that want to see me play live. And you know, I'm just really looking forward to. It. I'm looking forward to be part in this club, and you know, seeing where our future can take us. I think after the season finished, I think York Nine was my number one choice. You know, I watched them play, and uh, you know, I think they were a good football team. And even when I came to play here uh, away for my first time, playing at home, and my whole family had the big tent behind the goal, and you know, I just felt the local support, uh, especially from my family. And uh, you know, it was one of my like you know one of my main targets to come back and play here. And I spoke to Jimmy on the phone, and you know, he's very ambitious on winning the lead, and you know, I just want to be part of that and play my role. So I'm happy to have joined. I think I played at home maybe once with the national team against Jamaica and you know I had a lot of friends and family that came to watch and that was like it was like a thrill for me because after the game I get to you know go home and you get to share the moments with them and I think that played a major part in my decision and uh, you know obviously the last time I think I played at home regularly was probably when I played for Woodbridge before I went on to TUC Academy and then moved on to QPR so you know I'm just kind of looking forward to be back in part of the, the community here and play here. Uh, yeah, well, I started at Kleinberg when I was like five or six, and my mom and dad were the coach, actually. So I started off there, and I played there for many years, and then uh, I moved on to Markham, where I played in Markham for a couple years, and my dad was also part of the coaching staff. And then my dad and my uncle took the Woodbridge coaching staff, and they coached me throughout my age group. So it's kind of I've always been part of the local community. My parents uh, have coached many of the kids that have been part of the community, too, growing up. So, uh, yeah, it's been a great experience, and I know a bunch of the coaches still that play there and I'm sure they've often throwing me messages saying that you know they're looking forward to come watching me play so it's going to be exciting. Yeah well obviously I've lived at home I've come home a couple of times but you always come home with the feeling that you're about to leave in a month so you kind of rush everything and you know you're trying to do things and trying to spend time with certain people but I think now that like you know I'm kind of home home so uh, you know I'm just enjoying time being at home with my family you know not you know being uh, upset that I have to maybe go out with my friends tonight, but then I'm gonna leave next week, so I wanna spend time with my family. So I guess just kind of feel comfortable in it. And uh, yeah, I, well, I've been hanging out here for a while. Obviously, I used to, my local movie theater was Colossus, just down the road. So uh, I think, um, yeah, I'm just happy to spend time with friends. I can see my friends on a regular basis and outside of football. So just, yeah, it's been enjoyable so, so far. Anyway. Uh, local spot kind of go to maybe I go out with my friends a little bit, maybe like Dave and Buster's. Nice. Just kind of, you know, have a couple, of, well, have a couple of waters, and then play a little bit of arcade games. So yeah, having this league come in and having a team literally right out my doorstep, you know, it just shows that you know soccer is growing in Canada and being able to like, especially for all the kids that play in Woodbridge and Kleinberg and all the local community teams, like you know, it gives them a, a really good goal because you can actually play professional soccer just outside your doorstep and. You know, it gives us, we're major influences on that and, uh, you know, just I'm happy to be part of it and hopefully that I can show my talents this year and, you know, help this team grow. Yeah, I know uh, a couple, uh, Luca, I uh, played with him back maybe when we were playing for the Ontario Provincial team and uh, our families quite know each other. So, uh, you know, I've seen him in a long time and obviously it's nice to be playing with him again. I know he's a very good player and Chris Manella and Manu Aparicio I played with and grew up with. So. You know, those are quite like close players to me and, you know, I talk to Chris every day. So, you know, I think uh, it's be nice to have like, you know, good friends in the change room. And, you know, I've met a couple of the other boys also playing against them and seeing them around. So everybody's, I'm sure everybody will be very welcoming to me. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. I obviously know Jimmy's career and Jimmy's had a fantastic career. Uh, that's why, you know, obviously learning from him, I know he knows what he's talking about when he, when he talks, when he tries to coach me because the way obviously I would love to achieve a career like his so obviously um, yeah like the way I kind of play is you know I'm kind of fast counter-attacking and uh, you know I'm Jimmy like the way his style of team plays you know they're very possession based but then they threat and they go forward fast so I think I can fill in well and I'm looking forward to things that he can teach me this year and uh, you know hope he can make me a better player and I can keep pushing on to uh, continue my career.